So I want to just walk through one of these um, these IR filter uh, change out uh, approaches. So I've got this. Um, just take it from the top. I have one of these little small uh, flat rubber gaskets. This happens to be a Hillman's 3 8 by 7 8 by 1 16 and the 3 8 is the the aperture opening of the hole in it, which is uh, the thing we're looking at. And I, I've learned from my experience that these are nominally about a half inch square that I'm trying to fit that into. So I've gone ahead and and just marked the half inch uh, kind of grid here, trying to to uh, make it uh, symmetrical around the hole here with some guidelines. I've tried doing this with X-Acto knife and I've tried doing it with uh, with um, scissors. I think I'm going to try this one with scissors again. In both cases it's a little tricky because the material tends to creep a little bit when you're cutting it so it's hard to get a square cut. So I think I'm just going to try again to, uh, to get close and then iterate a little. Get it to where it fits neatly in the in the opening in the lens mount. I've learned that it's awfully easy to get too close and, and uh, cut the edge of the hole and need to start over again. Then with the lens mount opened up one can check and see and this is close. Looks like it fits in the one dimension. Actually it looks like lo and behold that, that sucker would fit as is. Can't believe it. Actually got it on the first go. So my friend Jack Topin uh, came over and uh, let me know that these are these little IR filters are more forgiving to work with than you might think. That they're pretty rugged. The coating's rugged. You don't have to worry about scuffing it up with your fingers. You can actually use your fingernail to uh, to clean it up a little bit. But the idea will be just to go ahead and and place that, force that into the opening here, which it does fit in. And our first thought was just go ahead and just force it in there and let friction be enough to hold it. And then Jack suggested that it might be better to use one of his favorite products, which is the black shoe glue, which can be thinned and laid up in, um, in thinner, lighter layers and coats and so forth. But we'll just see how I do with it this, this, go, this time around, using it without any dilutant. So I think the first thing that I'm going to try and do is just put a little thin coat of this um, this on the inside of the uh, opening of the hole and use that as some adhesive to secure the the IR filter in there. This is certainly gooey and, and sticky and, and Jack's point uh, is that it can be thinned. can't remember whether he... I have to double check what solvent he suggested to use to do the thinning. My thought here is just to go ahead and a bit of this and essentially try and coat the inside of this little gasket hole opening and then again place force the the IR filter into that that now uh, that opening which has got a layer of adhesive on the inside so there we are so we could leave it go at that, or perhaps I'll let it cure for a while. The other thing that Jack suggested would be to take and uh, and layer up, perhaps in a series of small dots, until you one has uh, essentially made a little lip here. Actually, I'll go ahead and attempt this here. Put a little more of the the adhesive down, so that the lens is actually secured in that opening a bit better. I've done one of these, but I, I've not had a chance to, to see, to test it and see how well it really does. So again, the thought here being to simply take and put um, sort of like a little carrier lip on this opening here in a few places, maybe a dot on the quarters points or something like that. Try not to get it out on the filter, but not being terribly worried about it if one does. Notice these things tend to form a, it's easy to form kind of an almost filament like taffy pull on it.
This makes me a little queasy about getting uh, contamination and goop on the surface of the filter, but I think that there is a pro good prospect to be able to scrape it off. So we'll let that cure for a while.